Our next presenter is John Rasmussen, who is the CEO of Sikuki Nuke Harbor. John has a background in shipping, ports, and terminal management from Denmark, the Netherlands, West Africa, and Greenland. John has lived in Greenland since 1993 and has been the CEO of Sikuki Nuke Harbor since 2016. Welcome. Thank you, dear audience. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. The topic of my presentation will be the infrastructure and the opportunities for shipping, storage, and transshipment in the Port of Nuuk. The big one, okay. Sikuki Nuuk Harbor is a limited company owned by the Greenlandic government. Sikuki is the port owner and the port authority in Nuuk as well as the ISPS authority, and we are the first commercial port in Greenland. We were established in uh, late 2013 to undertake a port expansion, much needed port expansion, and build a new container terminal, which is today rented out to Royal Arctic Line. Well-functioning port infrastructure in Greenland is really quite essential as we have no roads or railways linking our, our communities. September 2017 marked the completion of uh, this large port expansion in Nuuk and ending the decades of uh, congestion and constraints from lack of space in the old port areas. And we transformed the port of Nuuk into a regular hub in the Arctic. Today our customers enjoy the flexibility from more space and allowing for new opportunities to develop and grow their businesses. And from Nuuk, our national shipping line, Royal Arctic Line, as Nikolai mentioned, uh, they're able to deliver equipment and supplies almost anywhere along the coast of Greenland with dedicated vessels and barges, even in places without a port. As Nikolai also mentioned, no key, no problem. The new modern container terminal with the two mobile harbor cranes is in full operation and ready for the new shipping network between Royal Arctic Line and Imskip. And the new network will provide weekly shipping between Greenland and North America, Canada, North Europe, uh, connecting to a worldwide shipping network. And with the expansion of the, uh, of the airport already in progress, Greenland will by 20. 23 have added another significant infrastructure. Uh, I'll just show you the the pictures. You see the uh, you see the, the the port, the airport, and the new vessels, and you see the the network that we will be connecting to. Sikoginuk Harbor, the port of Nuuk. It's an ice-free port, it's open for all-year operation, strategically well-placed hub or base port in the Arctic region. Thus the name Sikuki, meaning limited ice in Greenland. The port has the size and capability already for handling large-scale uh, transshipment of cargoes. Moreover, the port facilities can be expanded to meet future needs. And very important, uh, in Nuuk you find a wide range of professional contractors and workshops to support your operation and logistics in Greenland. And you have the regular shipping and flight connection all year. That has been mentioned already. Situated next to the new container terminal, we also constructed an additional 37,000 square meters of flat laydown area. It's easy accessible from the container terminal. In this area, uh, prospectors, mining companies, and contractors could set up a local transshipment facility. Uh, one has to remember that flat areas are scarce in Greenland. It could be used for storing or maintaining critical backup material, backup equipment, or the area could be used for, you know, the beginning of bulk build-up of larger quantities of ore prior transshipment out of Greenland. Mooring a jetty, a pontoon for easy access, like Hudson Resources has done in Kangasluzwak, could be an option. And in the future, if we have business that makes it feasible, 
we could consider expanding the port again. We already see some traffic through the Northwest Passage during the ice-free months. Not as much as the Northeast Passage, but it's there, it's increasing. And should commercial traffic increase over the coming years, uh, the Port of Nuuk is ready to su support this as a transshipment hub at the eastern entrance to the waterways. Considering the proximity of Nunavut, Nunavik, Nuuk might also play a role in the transshipment of supplies to settlements and mines in the future, providing more frequent supplies or a longer season. After all, Nuuk is only 500 nautical miles from Ihaluit, compared to the 1,500 nautical miles between Montreal and Ihaluit. So to wrap up my presentation, I would just like to conclude that the upgrade of the port infrastructure in Nuuk has benefited all of Greenland. And together with the regular shipping and flight connections, as well as professional contractors available within shipping and logistics, we have approved accessibility to Greenland tremendously, making it easier for, Europe, uh, for you to operate in our beautiful country. So with that, I would just uh, say thank you and uh, we're not